Okay, for those of us who aren't in the United States, um, we're not going to get anything from Fluid Free Ride, so um, depending upon who your retailer is, you'll need to, um, to consider having a look at the caliper yourself. Now, um, basically to get the caliper off, it's pretty simple. Um, there's a four and a five required. Um, so the four is the one that's connected to the cable. So I'll just uh, stick that guy in there. I know that this will actually undo him because I had him off the other day. So that's pretty, pretty easy to remove. Now that's more or less the cable off. So let's just take the cable all the way out. There it is, cable's out. So I'll just leave the screw back in there for you know convenience. So this is the cal this is the lever that they were talking about about how much travel there is in actuating it. Um, not a lot, but if you've if your pads are adjusted in such a way that you need to have this all the way up here, then I suspect that's going to be a problem because these work by a threaded mechanism. So let's just pull this out and uh, have, a, have a gander. Now that I've got that off, I'll just um, take the other two bolts out and we'll see how we go. How firm are they? That's firm, so I'm going to use my T-bar, which looks like that. And there's my phone alarm going off. And so a little bit of effort required to get him loose but it's coming. Just get the other one loose while that's still holding because that's good practice because you can see that it's moving around now. So Nice music, huh? Oh. Okay, so that's that caliper bolt out, and then when this caliper bolt comes out, the whole caliper will just come off. And then I can have a look at that, and whatever I find, I'll put on a, a little video. Okay, interestingly, thread locker appears to have been applied to these, so that's a good thing. So now I should be able to just take my brake caliper off completely. And there it is, the brake caliper off and I can inspect how it works on the inside.